Another day I get better like every day How you feeling? I'm feeling good How your money? My money great My your been it could been it pay Close it to you really be fake Woman well, lost me but it ain't cost me how you What's up YouTube? It's your boy Jay Smurf here Welcome back to the Smurf Village I am back with another video So And if you not have If you haven't done so already Click that subscribe button Like Notification bell All that shit y'all this video is gonna be about uh I was people been asking me to do this. Uh, who is Jay Smurf? As who who am I as an artist? Simplify that a little bit, just like me as an artist, it's me still the same person. I just it's the same person that as for everybody. Like just me. I got some questions um what my boy's finna read from. Um put his link in the description down below. Yeah. What to do, what to what do, what to do. I'm gonna put his link link in the description. Uh he got a his own clothing line. I'm uh put everything in the description, so so what made you, you know, like, why did you start music? Like, what made you get into music? So, maybe getting into music is, um, well, I've always, ever since I've been little, I've always liked music, but I was, I'm a, I was a shelter protected, spoiled, spoiled child. So like, there, but there was some like shelter, like there was some certain music I was not allowed to listen to. Like rap, I was not allowed to listen to that at all. So. What I had to do was every song. Mainly, I had to listen to what my parents, my stepdad and my mama, listened to. Like they would listen to the gospel. They would listen to good R and B, like from Mary J. Blige and Drake, Kevin Gates. That's really the only rap rapping nigga I had, had, um, heard. I was able to listen to only because my mama would play that on her speaker. So I was singing. My stepdad was singing. I was singing da 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 from here time to time, shit like that. Uh, he would have me on one of his songs, probably sing at church, did some plays, shit like that. But what made me want to start really getting into it, like dropping music and shit, is my, um, so I was going through a rough time. Like, my friend Tati, she, uh, she, um, I met me and we were just chilling one day smoking. And I was telling her I was going through, need somebody to talk to. And I really don't talk to people about my problem, like, but I trust, uh, I talk to her sometimes if I feel like if it's really that bad bothering me. So I uh she was like saying, I really feel like you should start writing music and I was like, um like you could sing, like why don't you do that? Like I tried it I tried writing music like years ago, but I was I guess I didn't write it it's because I didn't write it to a beat. I was able to write a song and I was like, no, I guess I'm not a good songwriter. Cause I said if I start doing music I gotta write my own shit. She was like, Well, I feel like we ever tried it again, like now like I feel like if you tried it now, it would be you'd be better. Like just get find you a beat. Start writing and who knows, if you don't like it, and then oh well, find something else. But if you do, then shoot, that may just be the thing for you. So that's right. So sometime later came back to her. I start I took her by started writing music, came back to her with a like ten songs, I think. Uh yeah. One of the first songs I wrote was Dream no, Day by Day. Then it was Dreams. That was the one I liked the most. That was like the first song I wrote that's like really like yeah that was like the first song that I really felt good about so and she I showed her it and she loved it she was like bro you got to get in the studio and at first I wasn't okay with that because my anxiety is really bad soon go to the studio but I just continued right I didn't go to the studio right away but uh I just wanted more songs to write before I did that like I wanted to wait until I felt comfortable so like last year and July, that's when my first time going to the studio. Now, I went to the studio with her before, just see how it was. Then Jul then sometime July last year, I went to the studio and recorded my first song, Dreams, dropped it the next month, and here I am. Like, you know, let's talk about some accomplishment. Like, where do, where or what do you want to accomplish or be by in the next five to 10 years? So, next five years, I see myself being on podcasts, doing more shows, um, more confident with myself, like, just like have an album out, most definitely an album out. Probably like you probably like probably have two albums out by then. And uh, BTS, BTS, I definitely want to do that. Meeting my um favorite artists, um, my inspirations. Just I just really f see myself being with exactly where I want to be. And in ten years, just more shows, just same thing, just more of it, and just. I want to be able to um, start in five, ten years, like definitely start helping people more. The main thing I want to do is like, um, I ain't going to get, I already know that's because of what, what I want to do for the homeless, like build home for um, homeless, that ain't going to be, you know, ten years. Like it could be, like it could be, but 
with how big I'm thinking that it's going to take time. Like, it may not take 10 years, but it mainly might. But who knows? But, um, yeah, I just see myself own place, car, uh, another car, just everything that I've been asking for, just about everything I've been asking for. But it's not even going to stop there. It's just going to keep going. Like, I just see myself as the big, with the big artists and stuff like that on my team. <clears throat> Let's talk about like the process of your songwriting. Like, you know, like is there a process to like to it? Is it a way you do it, or are you just you know? Um. So my process of songwriting, I've been asked this a lot. So I can listen to a beat, and like sometimes when I listen to beat, like I have a whole list of songs written, like no names of songs written that uh, I plan on writing, and. Sometimes when I listen to a beat, I go through the list and see what sounds like. If it sounds like I got them category, categorized, like songs about pain, love, and other categories. Like I got other, um, so I go, depending on how the beat, how the beat sounds to me, like it could be like a sad beat. Sometimes, rarely, I'm able to turn it into an upbeat song. Um, but yeah, you, you get that, but um, uh, so I put a name on it. Okay, that's name sounds good with that. I'm writing it to that song. But sometimes when I'm able to um listen to the beat, I'm able to just find a name by myself on my own and write to it. And then when, when I write raps, it's not I'm not able to freestyle like so like. But in my head, in my head, I may be able to, but not out loud. So, but sometimes I'll be like, if I hear the beat and then I'm trying to figure out how my flow goes, I'll be like. Humming it in my head, like, or it was humming out loud. And then if I hear it be like, dun, 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 like, I'll just put words over that flow. Like, so that's how I write my raps. Like, I don't, I'm not able to freestyle my raps. Like, I write raps. So I'm, I don't consider myself a real rapper. So it's just something I like to experiment me with music and shit like that. Okay. What, um, what genres of music you like or, you know, that you normally write to? So with me, I do, I like to do, mainly I thought it was just gonna be R&B because I felt like with me just being a singer, that um, be the only thing I've ever do. But like I said, I like to experiment. Like I want to do more, reach out to a bigger crowd. So I mainly, like I write to R&B and then write my rap. So like, I would just like do whole rap songs and shit like that. Rock, um, pop, those are the ones I've done for now and then like some I'm gonna be able to like I'm gonna do all mainly I'm gonna do all the genres. I'm gonna do all the genres. Like that's my main that's my goal. Not all of them but most of them. Like I wanna reach out I wanna experiment experiment as much as I can to reach out to uh, more crowds and shit like that. More people to listen to and that's a good thing to do to reach out. That's what you want to do. reach out to the whole world that listen, can listen to. Uh who's who are your music inspirations? When I was growing up, I was like, bro, this was my first crush when I was little, bro. I just seen her on a magazine and Beyonce, like she, uh, she was on, I don't know what the magazine it was on, but it, she was called the most beautiful woman in the world. And then she just attracted me instantly. I was like, went out to my mama or my sister and said, who is this? And they said, that's Beyonce. Beyonce, I, she was singing and I, they let me listen to her music. That's when I like, that's when I really started to sing more. Like after listening to her music, like that's when I really started to like wanted to sing more and shit like that. So she was definitely one of my inspiration to want to sing. But Chris Brown was like the first singer I was mainly listening to. Cause my mom played him a lot. So that he got me into wanting to be a singer too. Now, well, the reason why I wanted to like learn how to like be yeah, versatile. I wanted to Doja Cat, a uh, listener of music now, like she really inspired me to, she really is the main reason why I wanted to be versatile. Like I wanted to be, do something different anyway, but like I didn't like really, I wasn't that into music to where I was able to learn like how it is, how music is set up, like versatility, I didn't know nothing about that. So the more I heard Doja Cat music, the more like I was like, okay, I want to do something like that. like put different genres into my uh, music. It's Drake, Lil Baby, and Jack Harlow. Definitely Jack Harlow, cause I love how that nigga flows on his shit, like. Who would you like to work, work with as far as like features on your song? Um, features, it's um, well right now, like, cause I love features. Like I love making uh, music with people. Like that's like creating magic together. I would do it like really, well right now, like it's not like I have the option to until I get higher, more noticed, like to choose 
hire other people, but right now I'll work with like anyone. No, not anyone. Let me not say that. Like any other artists who's coming up with me, but they have to be good. Like I have to fuck with your side to hear it and shit like that. Like if I can see where you, if I like it, if I fuck with it, then I will be on it. Like, yeah. But mainly I'll be, uh, I ask my friends cause, and the team I work with, so. Yeah, unless I hear any of my other friends. Cause like if I'm able to, like if I listen to a beat and I feel like I need a feature, I start to, I like, and sometimes I'm able to think of who, somebody right away, but sometimes I'm not. And some small songs I do need a feature on, but I don't haven't found nobody, the right person to get on them for them yet. So yeah. Uh, so what advice will you give other other, you know, inspiring artists and, you know, rappers and things like that. I know you say you're, you're, you you don't consider yourself a rapper, but you consider yourself an artist. So, you know, what advice will you give someone else? I would say, come, it, make sure there's something you really want to do. Like, don't waste your time and make sure you get ready for an incoming crowd of supporters and fans. Like, because with me, I... I'm like getting, I'm so glad I chose to like, I wanted to do music, so I already figured that out. So, but like my, if my, I'm glad I started to, I did that now, like, cause I'm getting better with my anxiety now and shit like that. Cause I, that could be people who suffer from that, like are not good around big crowds. That could be bad, but I wouldn't say like, I just get, I, it's like my shyness. Like, so, like sometimes I like, I wouldn't get like, I did plays and shit like that. I've been able to perform like, during rehearsal, like, I would act like I'm just terrified as hell, but then when the shit there, I'm just in it. So, like, I would say be ready for that shit and have a plan, like, because sometimes you will mess up with some shit. I do, too. I do. I still do. But learn, like, watch videos, like, learn how to do this shit, like, learn how to be your own artist, because to me, in my opinion, you don't, um, learn how to be independent, like, be independent, like, because I, like, do your research, for real, research, that's important. Like come up with a plan, a calendar, shit like that. Write write down music because something you'll think of me songs. You you can write down in your head like you'll be going through something in your life, and you can write put a name on what you're going through and write it down. Like that's what I do. Like and that's gonna help you. Like write that list down of songs that you end up are gonna end up wanting to do because eventually you go on you because you might want to. I don't think it's a good idea, but don't drop it. E, drop singles first, a couple singles to build a fan base, and don't do no EPs until like probably the next year or some shit like that, or end of the year, or no albums, because that's not, unless you have already a big following, then maybe people, then yeah, people will probably be anticipated for that. But if you're just starting out and you don't have a big, that big of a following, like start off with singles first, like build, grow your fan base and shit like that. Describe the type of music that you made. Depending on, like I said, like I make sad music, songs about, with me, it's not like, most like, cause I catch like with my love songs, most of them are about of how I would want to feel, feel or what it's like to feel, or they would be just be about shit that I thought I felt like, but I'm still going like I ain't never felt real love yet. But I, at that time, I was learning about how I thought it was, like or how I was just in love with a person I just met. Like <laughs> I didn't even know like that for real, and stuff I felt like it was heartbreak, like. I was like, damn, I wasn't, like, because I think on the now, like, damn, that's not even a real, that was like, I was just young as hell, like, that probably wasn't a real heartbreak, but at that time, like, you go through moments at that time, and that's just how you feel, so, like, yeah, I write um, upbeat songs, fun songs, just hype songs, and, yeah, just anything to grab anybody's attention, anything I uh, can relate to or been through, felt like I've been through. Who would you like to collaborate with? Beyonce, Ariana Grande. Chloe and Haley, Chris Brown, Doja Cat, LMI, Drake, Jack Harlow, John Legend, Lil Baby, and Megan Thee Stallion. All uh, dope artists, of course. Um, so what's your like um your favorite songs? These are songs I listen to like every time in the car. <laughs> Not every like most of the time in the car. Like if anybody in the car with me, like these you probably even play these songs a lot. So Billy Eilish, Happier Than Ever, I love that song but i sing my heart out every time like her really mainly her rock verse like her second half of the rock when she turns rock like i that was genius that was just i loved that shit, bruh. like i just love it especially when i'm in the shower bruh. 
and ball if I want to, the baby, man, that means video for that was hard. Like, he went hard on that shit. Uh, Doja Cat, I don't do drugs. The beat to that is, whoever made that beat, perfection. That shit is just amazing, and I love that song, bro. Like, I just say, every time I get in, I have to listen to that just about every time I get in the car. And then I love her song, Streets, but I like the, I mainly like the, um, her rap verse. Like, I like that shit. And already from Beyonce, like, that's about being black and being a king, being a black king, like, know you are a king, even though black, no matter what you're going through. Like, I like that song, Jack Harlow, Way Out. That was hard with him and Big Sean. Burn from Juice World. Uh, That's Facts, Lil Baby and Lil Dirt. And Emotionally Scarred, Lil Baby. And Ali Chopper Jumping, Rod Wave, Get Ready with Kodak Black. Shawn Mendes and Justin Bieber, Monster. And Big Bang by YG with 2 Chainz, Big Sean, and Nicki Minaj. You got a whole, <laughs> you got everybody on that, you know? Yeah. I had to get everyone, <laughs> like, I don't just have a main song. Well, if I did have a main song, I like, most likely be I Don't Do Drugs because I just love that song. She needed a music video for that one. What's your favorite song that you've written? I don't have a main song that I've written, but the ones I do are, I do love. Um, some of these ain't even recorded yet. Um, do What I Want to Do, Wild, Letter to My Past, Born to Be Great, Last Laugh, and No Longer Care. Like the one that's already out right now is, well, None of these actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, but to only one, two, three, three of these I recorded, but I just, I can't wait to record the other ones. Tell your, your supporters, your, tell your fans, you know what I'm saying? Tell your face, tell everyone, you know, what you got coming up next. What I got coming up, so today I just had, uh, well, I'm not even, this today, February 11th, I might not even drop this today, but today I, my sing, newest single, Black and Proud, um, came out. Go listen to that. The link will be in the uh, description down below. Like, you probably be black. Listen to that song. It's like my pop song. Like, I done dropped the R&B, beat, dreams, hip-hop, rap, bounce back, and now a pop song, Black and Proud. So, go listen to that. Um, Apple Music, Spotify. And I ain't posting on YouTube yet. I will, though. On 420, got a song for the smokers. Like, got that shit. It's hip, a uh, rap song. I'm going to have some features on it, too. Be a little on the lookout for that. Or uh, the summer song in June, I'm gonna drop Do What I Wanna Do. Uh, it's like my pop rock song. I feel like I had an original plan of dropping a rock EP, but I feel like that was too early to drop an EP. So I was, I'm gonna probably drop a single in September. And then I'm still thinking like, cause some of my plans change, like not constantly, but just here and there which I feel like would be better to do that. Like I might drop my Halloween EP on October, like drop the single that's gonna lead up to the end of the EP on October. But if I'm not doing that, it's gonna be another single. And then New Year's, I might drop some in December on Christmas, I might. And then New Year's, I'm gonna re-drop re -drop one of my, other, my New Year's song I tried to drop this year, but I have to re-record it because I wasn't feeling good about that. And I have to, I'm just gonna leave it at that because and I might be uh, dropping a clothing line. I'm still trying to get um, at the end of this month, year, maybe, or the beginning of this year, sometime around my birthday next year. I don't know. Trying to figure, I'm still trying to figure that out. Just got to get shit ready for that. Oh, and I'm trying to um, get doing, um, getting ready to do a music video for Bounce Back. Be on the lookout for that. Um, that shit going to be hard. And I want to do a music video for Do What I Want to Do. Um, that shit going to be hard too. And um, Joker for my Halloween EP if I do still drop that. But yeah, I don't, I will, I do wanna tell y'all what I got planned for next year, February, cause I'm already thinking ahead, so. But I'm just going, I'm just gonna get that for this year. Yeah, you too, that was all the questions we had. Um, yeah, be, uh, go look, um, hear my new, listen to my new single, uh, Black and Proud. Um, gonna be out, it's just out on Apple Music, Spotify, uh, I'm gonna drop on SoundCloud too. And um, I'm gonna drop on YouTube soon. And yeah, and the Bounce Back music, music video. And shout out to my boy Ink here for helping me out with the questions. And I'm gonna put his link in the description down below for his clothing line. But yeah, hopefully the, uh, you get now. Uh, oh, but this is one more thing. I wanna describe, like I wanna get really, this is really about who Jay Smurf is. So like, of like, let me tell you how I got the name and like how I own. Um, Jay Smurf is, okay, I got the name Jay Smurf, okay, from one of my friends. Like, 
It's really basically a nickname like J. My name is Jaden. Really, it's J. Don. Is my name is really J. Don, but I uh, like to go by Jaden. I would really go by anything now. I really don't care. But most people know me as Jaden now because that's like you're telling me. It's really J. Don. Yeah, J. J. They get it from Jaden because I've been called J. So that's one of my nicknames. But then it was also a joke about how short I was. So like one of my friends just called me. I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna start calling you J. Smurf. I never liked it at first, but then I started growing to me the more he called me it. So yeah, I kept it. And when I started to do music. I chose that name because eventually everybody started calling me that, so I just chose that name. I was gonna change it, but then people were like, don't change that shit, that shit is unique. Like, and I just kept it. I really, yeah, I really fucked with it too. But this is me, okay, so like I said, J, J Smurf is, is, is the same, I'm still the same person, like as an artist, I'm still the same person outside of me. But like, I'm just, I'm a caring, very generous person, like, Having me in your like, I ain't gonna care. I don't mean to brag. Like, I'm gonna brag, like, cause I can do that. Like, having me in your life, I'm like that person everybody wants and needs in your life. Cause, bro, I'm just like the realest nigga you ever had, bro. Like, I care for you, bro. I'm gonna take care of you. You can take care of me, bro. So, like, and then, but like, even if I'm going through something, like, most times I will not tell you, cause really I don't like talking about my friends at all. Like, I've tried to do it with that shit. I used to deal with that shit on my own. Try to deal with that shit on my own. Like, I just, that was bad. Like, I just went through so much rough time, but like, through my life, I began to see that I've learned through so much, I've grown so much as a person, like, but like, sometimes it's like, like I guess go through, really me being just married, like about how, just like, you smirks got different personalities and shit like that, and I do too, like, each of my emotions show stronger than the other, and that's just who, you are as a person, like everybody has this one thing they are, they are, and they like, it's like, don't be afraid. The main message is don't be afraid to be who you are, like, be yourself, like, no matter what you do, don't care what nobody else think about you, like, you are your own person, because each and every one of us is unique in our own way, like, of how we act towards one another and shit like that, because, like, we, some, some of us are able to leave our mark, our mark on people, like, people you never forget, like, each of us is unique in your own way, and be proud of that. And be, you realize, see that uniqueness and embrace it. And don't try to change it about yourself. Unless it's really something really bad that's fucking up your life, then yeah, you, you can try to change it for the better. Change for the better. Yeah. You're me trying to spread a positive, positive message. And I want my music to help people. Like, when you're going through a rough time, I want you to be able to listen to my music and be able to be helped in that way. Like, just. Yeah, love my music and if you're going through a rough time and you can just sit back and listen to it. But all right, you too. Thank you tuning in to another video. This is, that is a video for Who's Jay Smurf, so. Oh, y'all, yeah, and I got my hair done, yeah. So, like, I got two uh, strand twists. I'm, uh, um, I'm planning on, like, at the end of this, um, no, yeah, end of this month, cause my birthday, I'm about to be, your boy finna be 21. I'm 27. <laughs> Planning to do, um, still trying to figure out what to do with Airbnb or a party bus, but um, yeah. But my photo shoot is coming up on the 25th for my birthday, so I'm gonna take these out by that time so it can be curly and shit. But alright, y'all, see you in the next video. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, notification bell, all that shit, and join the Smurf Village. And I'll see you next time. Another day I get better like every day. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. How your money? My money, great. My your business could be it pay. Hold you to you really be fake. Woman yeah. lost me, but it ain't cost me. How you?